What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. It's Mighty Fan Time, and I have a little pickup video to share with you all today. It's not the pickup video, but it's the pickup video before the pickup video. <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> yes, it is the, the pickup video before the prime time pickup video. See, I'm working on the moves. Okay, I don't have it down yet, but hopefully I will. <laughs> when I have that jersey, which hopefully will be um, either at the very end of December or at the very latest, very early January. It just depends on when it comes in the mail. I'm purchasing it the day after Christmas. <laughs> so, so close. <laughs> I really didn't expect to have any pickup videos prior to that jersey. Um, uh, the epic pickup. But, uh, <laughs> but I actually came across uh, over the weekend, um, there was a... a um, there was a thread on Jersey Central, the, the, the sales thread, the sales and coupon codes thread. You know, anytime there's stores having sales or whatever, Jersey related or whatnot, you know, people will post it on Jersey Central. Great place to find some good deals. Those sales threads, really a uh, good source of information. And um, someone posted over the weekend one of the local store chains around here, BC Sports, was having a 40% off NFL uh, football jersey uh, sale. So, uh, now, normally, I'm not a big pickup person for um, for current players in any sport, besides maybe for the local teams, you know, like Claude Giroux and stuff like that. But um, normally don't because, you know, players change teams so often. You know, it's, I mean, even Polos now is an angel, you know. <laughs> He's out of the National League, so that's good for the Phillies. But <laughs> I'm disappointed. I was hoping he would end his career with the Cardinals, but, you know. Um, no, I, uh, uh, I I normally stay away from them, but either if I can get a really good deal or if I just really like the jersey or, obviously, if I really like the player, you know, I will, you know, get, get the jersey. And I'm not a huge collegiate football watcher. Um, uh, maybe it's because the college I go to doesn't have a college football team. <laughs> <laughs> just finished the math though. I just got the last math class I ever I will I, I will ever have to take. I just got past it. So hey, it's another step in the right direction for me. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> but that being said, I do have a a, a, a a few teams that I will watch collegiately for football. Um wish there was a playoff system, but that's you know, that got that you know I'm just preaching the choir with that. But Still, they should. <laughs> but I do have a few teams that I do follow, and probably one of the teams that I follow the most in college football is the Florida Gators. That's right. So going back you know, a few years with them, I, I, I had some friends that were big Florida fans, and they kind of got me into them and, you know, many years ago. So shout-out to Rob and shout-out to Michael. You two, you know, big Gator heads there, and uh, they kind of got me into them. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I joined the party. <laughs> I joined the swamp, but I uh, <laughs> so I got you a little gear chop there. But uh, but no, um, being the fact that I don't watch too much college football, a lot of the you know the quarterbacks um, I watch in the pros, I didn't watch too much of in, in in college. But this guy I did, and yes, we all know where I'm going with this. We all know. I I know. We we know. But I. <laughs> BC Sports was doing 40% off, so I had to pick up his jersey. It's a replica jersey, but it's not a fake. <laughs> I see a ton of them on eBay, but um, it's a Reebok Tim Tebow Broncos jersey. I'm happy that he's having success in the NFL. Um, I'm also happy for Brian Dawkins, and of course me being a big Eagles fan. Yes, I know about our season. I, I'm well aware of what the Eagles have done this year. Believe me, I watch every game. So... <laughs> Um, but I'm happy that at least, you know, Tebow and Dawkins have had success this year with the Broncos. And, uh, you know, hey, they're fun to watch. What can you say? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you got to give them that. Okay, so you, you only have to tune in in the fourth quarter. <laughs> but that's when it all happens. But, no, I've been, I've been happy uh, that, that they've had success. If my Eagles can't have success, which I really would have been happy with, <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy at least that, uh, you know, uh, Tebow has had success and, uh, you know, B-Doc. And, uh, you know, will they win the Super Bowl this year? Hey, there's so many good teams out there. Who knows? But 
it's a fun ride, isn't it? And believe me, as an Eagles fan, if I could have had some of those wins <laughs> that, you know, that the Broncos have been able to pull off this year, hey, <laughs> would have been awesome. But just wasn't meant to be. I know they beat the Dolphins, but, you know, it's – where was that against Seattle and Arizona? Where was that? <laughs> they make me so mad. <laughs> and you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> um, but while I was at BC Sports, every now and then they have a little selection of Mitchell Ness attire. And uh, I came across this. And I actually passed on it during the uh, Black Friday sale, so it was like a second chance. And I learned from that Dion jersey, okay? You, 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 <laughs> you, when you're given a second chance, <laughs> you got to go for it, because then it becomes like the Dion jersey, and it becomes a big odyssey. And it just, I'm not going to get into it anymore. <laughs> but um, speaking of my beloved Eagles, it is my third Mitchell and Ness Eagles jersey in the collection, and there it is. The Minister of Defense, number 92, Reggie White. This is the 1992 jersey. This is a – here's the jack tag. This is a newer made in China, but I think the quality is really nice on this jersey, just my personal opinion. It does have the Jerome Brown memorial patch. Of course, he passed away that summer before the season, and they dedicated the year to him. Um – and wore that commemorative patch. And I know that Mitchell Ness came out with another Reggie White, uh, a white Reggie, another white Reggie White Eagles jersey uh, this this year with a smaller version of that patch. And I forget the story behind that that patch. They only wore it for like one game and they went to this because it was a smaller patch with the JB99 and the Eagle logo. Some of you probably have seen that jersey on their website or whatnot. But this is the more pronounced patch. And I think they wore this one most of that year, but again, I could be wrong. But <laughs> I know a lot of the Mitchell and Ness Eagle throwbacks in 92 have that patch on there, the white and the Kelly greens. I know Throwback King has that Randall jersey, the Kelly green with the patch. And I know they made a, a Wes Hopkins and a Seth Joyner Kelly greens as well, as well as Reggie. But this being the white version of it. And this is, this like I've always said, I've my favorite kind of throwback for football is, is the heat press numbers, as this one is. And the reason for that, and I know I've said this before, but here's here's proof positive of that. Because this is the jersey, to my viewers, that I grew up with. This is my this is the Eagles jersey that I remember them wearing when I was younger. This and the Kelly Green version, of course. And this is the style, and of course it has the heat press numbers. And that's just how they wore them. So I think that that goes back. You know, this is the reason why those jerseys are so big for me because I grew up with them. <laughs> the heat press numbers so and, and logos and everything like that. So, yeah, there you go. And like I said, everything on here is heat pressed. The 92s on the shoulders and on the front and back. And the, um, the R dot white is on a nameplate, but it's heat pressed on, nothing stitched. You see a lot of fakes of these jerseys on eBay. You see a lot of them. If I had $20 for every fake I saw of these Jer Mitchell and Ness uh, Eagle jerseys on eBay, I could have bought that Sanders jersey a whole lot sooner. <laughs> Years ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but the only things that are stitched on here is a little NFL shield, the Jerome Brown Memorial patch, and, of course, the, um, the jock tag on the bottom. Everything else is heat pressed, including... The eagle logo on the sleeves it's got the yoke sleeves as well so there you go you see a lot of these now i know reebok makes them and they make them stitched you know they're more generic you know replicas but the mitchell and ness versions are always supposed to be heat pressed for the eagles and various other teams you just want to be careful you know there's so many you know knockoffs on there with the stitched lettering you know reggie white eagle eagles mitchell and ness jerseys you know supposedly in their stitched on and all. No, no. <laughs> Believe me, I know. They're not supposed to be stitched. They're supposed to be heat pressed. Say it with me. Heat pressed. <laughs> right on. Oh, it's so nice. Look at it's shiny. Look at that. That's how it should be. Yes. <laughs> at least for this version of the Eagles jerseys. 
So there you go. At any rate, um, swag factor. There it is. I had to find it. You see how quick I found it? It's like Tebow. Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Here is, this is actually one of my older Eagle hats. It's um, circa the 19, early 90s. It's like the style of hat that you would see on Buddy Ryan's head. <laughs> Patrolling the sidelines back in the day with the Eagles as a head coach. And there you go. It's the hat they wore with the jersey. <laughs> it's an old starter snapback, like it says. Very old, but still very nice hat. One of my favorites still. So there you go. I think that's the hat that I will wear with this jersey. Primarily. I'm using the big words today, aren't I? <laughs> At any rate, um, I want to... You know, make sure I wish a happy holidays to all my subscribers. Thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel. Keep hitting that subscribe button for me and that like button as well. And you want to make sure you do that for all my fellow Jersey heads as well. To all my fellow Jersey heads, happy holidays to all you. Big shouts to all of you. And to my friends and family, happy holidays to all of you. Big shouts to all of you too. This is Mighty Fan. Don't know if there'll be another video or not prior to the pickup video, the prime time. Oh, oh, the prime. <laughs> Okay, I'm still working on the moves. <laughs> I need a football or something, you know, to do the primetime edition, and it is coming. Oh, it is. It's coming. Got my Sixers on because, I don't, again, I don't know if I'll have another pickup video prior, or another video, I should say, on YouTube prior to the NBA season starting, so I wanted to rock my Sixers gear because we all can't be Lakers and Celtics fans, Okay. <laughs> I know there's like 90% of the Jersey heads are either Laker fans or Celtics fans. But Throwback King and I, we're Sixer fans. It's not easy. <laughs> okay? We, we don't swim in championship banners, but we are fans. <laughs> Nonetheless, don't know what to expect from them this year. It's a young team. But, hey, I like the direction they're heading in. Doug Collins doing a good job. So throwback tank shout out to you. I know we hold it down for the Sixers. See, and I do want to make sure I have another little pickup here. See, I got this. Oh, yeah. There's a man right there. Jordan, of course. Uh, NBA 2K12. This is, of course, for my laptop. That's right, but still get it done. Very good game. I really like it. The Sixers are 1-1 one one so far. <laughs> I'm playing a shortened season. I never play a full season, but believe me, I, I can't. I can't play a full 80-plus 80, 80 game season. And so I I always have a shortened season. So I'm actually looking forward to the shortened season of the NBA. I like it because, see, this is like what I'm used to with these games. You know? I don't go through a full season. It's always like a 56, 58-game season, whatever. Can't get through a full season. I'm a college student. You know these things. <laughs> It's tough enough for me to get through a shortened season. A full one, I don't know. I might have to simulate a lot of games. <laughs> but, yes, I'm having, I'm having fun with that game. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that, too. Okay, this is my fan saying peace. Happy holidays again to everyone. I hope you all get what you want for the holidays. I know my gift to myself <laughs> will be coming <laughs> after Christmas. But I, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And we all know what it is. And you will see that soon, I promise. But until then, this is Mighty Fan saying peace. I will see you in the next video. All right.